Tukimalizia. Tukimalizia. I'm expecting our judges tomorrow. Come participate with us. Come be with us. Guide us. Hey, come to Zimbabwe. Let them talk to our people. Casper Automotive. If you want to have your drinks, you look like you are a baby. You look like you are a baby. Chicago level four hospitals have been rehabilitated and the occupation department OPD broke at Gategi level three is now operational therefore expanding health access and ensuring that quality services reach every corner of the county additionally my administration has in in the, this year's budget earmarked the upgrading of four key level three hospitals that is Kretire, level three Gategi and Kenjo, Kenjo Koma and Kairori in Imbere and, and Kairori in Imbere South Mwea, Nonyenges and Manyata sub counties respectively Nimbaragyo Vrwadi Vitali no Kithindeva Mwava Neto Kometha Onda Kone Korohidhi no Alevo Inge um, these upgrades will ensure that residents in these areas can access comprehensive health closer to home, easing the pr pressure on level fives and level four hospitals. By doing so, only the most critical cases will need referral to the high level facilities, creating a more efficient and, and uh, patient centered health network across the county. The National Assembly passed the Facility Improvement Finance Act on 19th October 2023, <coughs> FIF. In conformity with the Act, the county government enacted the Embu County Health Service, Services Act 2024. This Act aims at ensuring that all our facilities ranging from dispensaries to level 5 hospital are self-sustainable by ensuring that revenue generated by each facility is plowed back to the source. This therefore will und und undoubtedly, undoubtedly enhance the efficiency of day-to-day -day operation of the facility. Well, this was an essential step towards ensuring that our facilities are financially sustainable and better equipped. I have listened, to, I have listened attentively to your concerns regarding these changes, especially the introduction of the user changes in the dispensaries and health centers, which has inhibited the provision of affordable and accessible health care in these primary health facilities. I understand that access to health care should never be a burden, especially for those in our rural areas and the bottom and at the bottom of the economic pyramid. And for this reason, I have since suspended the payment of all charges in all level two and level three facilities safe safe tiga tiga gategi kyanjokoma and the criteria of the centers that are earmarked for upgrading to level four yet kudira mbere ko leva sia level three ni yesi thino wa muvango ukoro hiyo kirirwa ni go itwe level level four we cross here level four these exceptions are made due to the sheer volume of patients that these facilities serve. We believe that this balance will ensure that the health care remains accessible to all while maintaining the quality 
and efficiency of uh, Raja Health Centers. As we move for, as we move forward, I want to assure you that my administration is committed to continuous improvement. We will keep pushing to secure more resources, invest in critical infrastructure, strengthen our workforce, in, and ensuring accountability in the management of these resources so that every shilling spent delivers results for the people of Embu, of, of, uh, for, for the people of Embu. Hello? Mwadhani wa koa, jakane liata wa, nyume tue dhuna, nendu manene. Iyana haga. Thank you. And your question. Ladies and gentlemen, as Nelson Mandela said, and your question is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. My administration is deeply committed to this truth, and we are determined to support our children's education to the fullest, enabling them to become agents of change. In line with this commitment, my administration has taken a de deliberate steps this year to ensure our students are equipped to achieve their life aspirations. We have issued bursaries totaling to Kenya shillings 100 million, benefiting 35,000 students in secondary schools and vocational training centers. Additionally, we have continued our support for VTC training by disbursing Kenya shillings 21 million in capitation, benefiting 2,127 trainees in all vocational training centers across the county during the last financial year. Recognizing the critical role of early childhood education in shaping our children's future, we have also constructed 13 new ECD classrooms, renovated eight classrooms, and built seven new toilets and seven kitchens in various early childhood development education development education, that is ECD centers. These efforts aim to create a conducive learning environment for our youngest learners. Moving forward, we will continue to allocate, we will continue to allocate more funds in subsequent budgets to ensure that every child in Embu County receives the support they need to realize the registration of BWDs to better address their needs. Furthermore, recognizing the importance of nurturing talent, we have scheduled governor's tournament that will be played across the ones. This tournament aims to motivate and empower our youth through sports. The, uh, sorry, um, providing them with the platform to showcase their skills and develop their potential. As I, as I almost come to the end, let me, ladies and gentlemen, over the past years, my administration through the Department of Water, Irrigation, Environment, Climate Change, and Natural Resources has made a significant progress in the advancing our development agenda by completing that eight critical projects. These achievements include the implementation of essential water supply initiatives, such as the Munge Water Project, the provision of uh, pipes at Kamarandi, Kamarandi, CBO, and the rehabilitation of key water systems like Kune, Kune Soko, Kune Tusoko, Masinga Bodoni, Kideso projects. Additionally, we have extended water distribution lines in areas such as Sierra, Kaviare, Kavaere, Kerediga, and uh, 
Yes. The department has further enhanced water storage capacity through the installation of repair of tanks in the markets, the construction of a masonry water tank for Gandori Water Company, and the building of other dams for water security. For water security. To strengthen our water supply network, we have also focused on drilling and equipping boreholes in areas like Meshengedo and Momenji Wand, utilizing solar powered system and sustainable water access. In addition, the county has invested in advanced drilling equipment, including a high power, a high capacity drilling machine, test pumping apparatus and a, a support truck to facilitate operations. With these resources, we aim to drill and equip at least 20 boreholes annually, fitting with solar powered pumping systems and water storage tanks, which will produce which will reduce water scarcity, ensuring that residents across Embu County have access to clean rare water. County Double Yamai. Na Wamwaka Motivora Karuva in Double Yamai. Naina in Dosio the Gian Machinia Kodima Kodima Korea Mai Mari. Kotnamusita wa Aquivas. I don't my Giniata for all the Messi Aquiva. Kodima Korea Mai Mari. Machinio Wamwaka, Trava Iridia, Kodone Kaga, Boho, Mirongo Iri, Wamwaka, Matisunis and the Pio, to conquer a Cosini Gokrogu. Numerical against you to Kemuera. Vandu vodi vai na doko kana di vitari me akayo kete tuna makuru vai na bohol todo mai mando vodi mai na hivi kati kwa ndo wetu tuna tuka kwa ndo vodi vara manyata mister nyambene umenyanda sio ni matendeka tangu vandu vodi da makivinga ro mai ringi bironi ukire guru kugu muvango shiwe vo vandu vai na dispensary vandu vai na di vitari vandu vai na doko tuna taka kutukwe na maji yetu ambao ni tumechimba sisi wenyewe na ni ya bohol bigi angavana makofi. Kamu ini, rungu rungu angkiri kasa, Grekia, ni menda kuga. The Department of Agriculture, through the Department of Agriculture, we have implemented programs that aim to boost productivity, sustainability, and resilience in uh, the agriculture sector. These efforts affirm our commitment to ensuring that agriculture continues to thrive and improve livelihoods in Embu County. Key achievements include the recruitment of three seventy-two 